Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Paul Sorensen, and the uh, research that I work on here at uh, Brookhaven National Lab, uh, what we do is we try to we recreate the conditions that existed in the universe uh, one microsecond after the Big Bang. The way that we do this is, uh, for example, at Brookhaven here, we take uh, gold atoms and we strip away the electrons from the gold atoms, creating what we call a heavy ion. And what you have left is the nucleus, which is only something like 10,000 times smaller than the actual atom. These can then be accelerated to very, very high uh, energies, something like 99.9% .9 the speed of light. This is done right over here at RIC, which you, uh, which you probably are all familiar with. And these, uh, these ions are circulated in counter-rotating rings, and then these rings cross over each other, and at particular points, the ions can collide into each other and create what we call the Little Bang, which is uh, analogous to the Big Bang that created the universe. So the reason that we do this is because we want to try to understand the kind of matter that existed in the early universe and also the phase transitions and the different phases of that matter. So a phase transition, of course, is uh, something that happens when you change a variable which causes the matter that you're looking at to change its sort of properties. For example, you turn up the temperature and ice melts, it turns into water, you turn up the temperature more, and then it turns into water vapor after boiling. Okay, so we're trying to do this, and the matter that we're talking about starts out with the matter that exists in the nucleus. So in the nucleus, you have protons and neutrons. Those protons and neutrons, the nucleus you can think of sort of, sort of a bag of marbles of these protons and neutrons, you have hundreds of them, they collide together. Inside those protons and neutrons, those are not fundamental particles, there's actually other particles called quarks and gluons that are sort of the fundamental constituents of this matter. So you don't see those typically because the force that binds them together is so strong that they don't get out freely ever. But what we do when we collide these and we create these really high temperatures and really high densities, it's a temperature that's something like 10 or 100,000 times the temperature of the, the uh, core of the sun. It enables these quarks and gluons to roam around freely. You go through a phase transition and you create a new form of matter that hadn't existed since, like I said, a microsecond after the Big Bang. Um, what we find at RIC is we find that this matter behaves not as we expected, but it's actually very liquid-like. Uh, this is kind of uh, very interesting. Just as you get above that phase transition from protons and neutrons to this free soup of quarks and gluons, you get something that is very, very much like a liquid. The way that we know that it's like a liquid is because basically we have these huge detectors which sit out there and detect thousands of particles coming out of these collisions. And we notice that, for example, one thing is we don't see very many fast particles coming out of the collisions. So, this is something like if you're in a swimming pool trying to run fast, I don't care if you're you know, a sprinter, Hussein Bolt, or whoever the, uh, the Olympic uh, champion is, you can't go very fast if you're in a pool. It's the same thing with these particles, they get slowed down. The other thing that we notice is that the particles don't come out randomly, just scattered here and there. They actually sort of are moving together as they come out, they're moving collectively, which is much like what you'd expect from a liquid where everything is sort of flowing out together. So, these are the things that we've found so far. What we want to do going forward is we want to understand better what exactly was the nature of the phase transition, how did that occur, what are some of the other properties, like for example, exactly what is the viscosity of the matter that's created. And we also want to scan other regions of the diagram where you have different kinds of phase transitions from what we call the quark gluon plasma to, to the, the, the regular nuclear matter. And uh, we'll be doing that in the future at RIC as well by taking more and more data and also by changing the energy of the beams that are colliding and changing what we collide in the, in the, in the accelerator. Thank you. Great. Thank